I'm looking for anyone to sell me a comp cape on fucking RuneScape. Because I just wanted two taps. Hey. Anybody? Just slide in my dance. Trash Talk Tuesday! Oh, what's up, gang? And welcome back to another episode of Ratatatata with your favorite Caribbean boy, X7 Dave. Oh, here a voice cracking like <clears throat> it's my job. Up to bat, trash talk Tuesdays. You know what we fucking do? X7. Up to bat. X7 specifically wanted to see Ivory Tower spins. I got you, Big Chief. Let's go. Good game, good suggestion. Honestly, this shit will do well. I'm pretty sure of it. Your name looks familiar. Pretty sure I've seen you somewhere in the chat. Good to see you. Hope things are good. Hope the vibes are immaculate. You know what I mean? I'm gonna keep it real with you, bro. Your suggestion's looking pretty fucking slow so far. Good game, though. I'm not gonna roast it. I know the game. I mean, tech layoff. Okay, we needed that overtime spin. Oh, oh. <laughs> Holy shit. What was that? Fuck, you better, big, you better not be a cold. And then you give me an error so that the fucking, okay. I mean, another tech layoff here would be decent. We have to build this. We have to build this. We need like three more tech layoffs. This is a horrible buy. Uncontrol the lead. When you get control of the lead, it basically resets the fucking, the juice here. If you get a bunch of tech layoffs in a row, you'll see what I mean. Um, if, for example, if we had like, Three tech layoffs in a row. This would go over on the first tech layoff. The next tech layoff would mirror this, so it would be up. X4. And then the next tech layoff would be like an X8, for example. And they would all get pulled over, pulled over, pulled over. And there would just be a fucking stonkified win. I'm really sending your your suggestion off a cliff here, X7. Because you're, um, you're up the bat. You know what I mean? And the next suggestion here is... Shut the fuck up. Reminder, don't be toxic. Big man, it's Trash Talk Tuesdays. What are you talking about? The toxicity is what we do. So we need like three tech layoffs in one spin. I'm glad I got all the fucking control deletes off now. Cause it's like, the second one didn't mean shit. <laughs> And the schmalty's pretty low, so it doesn't hurt too bad. And then the whole buy is like... No, this should be... A... Okay. <clears throat> 420? Please don't fuck up 420. Double control deletes. U2, no limit. The whole buy is... Multiplied by the schmalty at the top of the end. A plus one spin. That nudge could just go to Narnia if it wanted. Horrible again, but we got two spins. We would need like triple fucking tech layoffs here to make this work. Oh. So you'll see what I mean here. So now this goes over, right? Just like that, we're at 10x. And the next one was a plus eight. Double tag layoff. And that's essentially how it works. So the next person up the bat is X7 Dave. Wants to see God mode. You want to see this work, my G? No problem. I got you. Now that is a fucking suggestion, X7 Dave. Oh, you said here back to back it? What, you're saying I have to do this until the back to backs? Big man, I got you, bro. Relax. That's a big suggestion, though, man. We're burning profit right now, X7. What about this, right? Let's 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 give. Dear customer, please note that calls may be recorded for training purposes.
So yeah, it's Robot Dave here. As you can see, David muted the microphone here. When do you think he will realize an unmute? If you guess never, then you are absolutely right. He never realizes. He never unmutes. So, I'll speed run you through the rest of the slots here because uh, we are not done with the technical fuck-ups. <sighs> oh no. Great win though. Give it up for your boy X7. Next up, we have Night Hotspots with a Z. So hot spots, that's pretty cool. Requested by Michael if 5585 and absolutely no one else. And yes, it's a Spin Nation game. So I'll just spare you the pain. Then he got it to bonus once and it paid like 10K and then another 10K after. And he probably said something like, well, that's not too bad. And then insulted the viewer requesting it. Moving on. Then we had Rise of Olympus requested by Jurek Piwawarchik 7697. And that name is so long it doesn't even fit into the text asset that poor, poor Mr. Tomato has prepared here. And given what a shit show of a, a video this is, he's probably too lazy to even fix that overflow. You know they say that AI is the future that large language models and synthetic content is the future. And this is what they make me do. Wasting thousands of credits, uh, wasting so much computing power, just because one old man forgot to turn on his microphone. We could have world peace now, or maybe work on curing cancer and just have such a better place overall. For humanity, for everyone, but, but, uh, Sorry, I digress. More Spin Nation, yay! And then nothing happened. And David was like, meh. Uh, then he played some stack them for Jake Manarola 7399. And guess what happened? Can you guess? You've been here long enough. You might guess what happens. Yes, that's right. 100 points to Gryffindor. So the camera froze. So now we have no microphone, no camera. We have nothing. Not even any good hits on this shit slot. So. David continues, and then eventually, yes, eventually, he notices that the camera is frozen. He still doesn't know about the microphone, but you know what he does. He stops the recording and goes AFK for literally three days. Yes, three days. Not even kidding. Listen to him. All right, Tomato, here's the fucking thing, bro, right? <clears throat> The camera died. You you know what you saw, right? The camera fucking was dying for a bit, right? I fucking zoned out emotionally. You know what I mean? I was like, you know what? Let me just go like and do some Christmas activities. And uh, then I just kind of woke up two days later, bro. Woke up two days later and I was like, Fuck me, what shirt was I wearing? Where am I? And I'm here. But the good news is, I remember we were on Stack'em. And I didn't touch the sub balance. Left it right there. Because I knew that was for TTT, right? So technically, we can just low-key pick up where we left off. Maybe the jacket's different. Maybe I'm not as crispy. Maybe I'm more tired. I don't know, bro. It is what it is. You got to decide. However the fuck you want to cut and splice this because you got the fucking, you know what I mean? You got the unedited, bro. Probably just gave it to them raw, didn't you? Fucking tomato. I think the last time this actually juiced us on the last bite. If I recall correctly, perhaps there was some juicage. Okay, guys, welcome back. Listen, don't ask fucking questions, all right? Maybe, maybe, maybe Tomato just made the whole thing look clean as fuck, in which case, good job, Tomato. If I look different, it's because... Have you been drinking? I look different. Don't know about that, Chief. Sounds like a you problem. I'm gaslighting you? No, I'm not. <clears throat> Sounds like you've just been hitting the nog a little bit too hard, you know what I mean? 
Let's slow down there, Timmy. All right, so Stackham actually low-key is, you know, it performed a little bit. Was it unfortunate that perhaps it popped when the camera was under duress? Maybe. Maybe it was for the better because I had food in my teeth. Good save. So we're going to... Sam Quentin. All right, we're going to make a hard, fast, and serious push for San Quentin. This is going to be, no matter what, the last buy on this fucking slot. Unless it gives us 50k plus. That's fair. Okay. I mean, it's a slow and steady build thus far. It keeps dropping the fucking schmalty in, which is interesting. So if you haven't seen this game before, the hits give you fucking upgrades on the multi. This can pop a heart. The heart will fucking reset your spins. And the X, if it's connected to a tumble, nice. That was nice. If the X connected to a tumble like this, it will trigger the multi. Good hit. Thing is, this multi can fucking go, bro. 400 by 163x, right? This multi can go, go. Go, go, gadget gains. Reset. Oh. Really? And it fucking didn't hit the, the multi either. That's unfortunate. But still a really good win. A win is a win. But you know what it's not? It's not 50 grand. Get fucking yoinked. 40 grand? Yeah, sure. Should we be celebrating? Nah, we don't have time for that. Busy people. Busy people. We have money to lose on King Carrot. I'm kidding. That was a really good effort, Jake. Thank you so much for stepping up to the plate. Your game, your game is, your game is less, man. Stack them isn't like, you know, it's not the cutest thing on the block, but it's not the ugliest thing on the block. You know what I mean? Abu Gaming up next with three other Let's just call them crackheads, bro. Y'all want to see King Carrot. Y'all are... Maybe you're just like under the influence of narcotics, perhaps. And you want to see giant carrots eat other fucking fruits and veg. I never noticed this man was grumpy, yo. Yo, my man is like, he's going through it, right? He's going through it. I've noticed that. Excuse me. I feel like I've played this game a bunch and I never saw birds. What the fuck was that? Where are those birds? The thing with this screen is hits suck. Like you need so many. You need the biggest clusters on the planet. Or you need to have the good clusters with schmalties in them. With the carrot schmalty. To really make it go. Because like what you think should be a good hit isn't. You know what I mean? It's really quite mad until it like eats everything. Yo, let's look at the expressions on these fucking... <clears throat> okay, this is the first vibe right here. Never mind. When it came in, it was a vibe. Really scared. I guess they're getting eaten, so like maybe they're not happy, right? Scared, scared, confused, concerned, and just like not having it, bro. This man's not having it. He's like, fuck, I just get schmunched. Did I just get schmunched? I like the expression on this one. It's just a fucking meme. It would be nice if we could continue the fucking situation, to be honest. Like this should be a, okay. You see what I mean by like a setup that like that looks like a crazy okay 4k right but that's 4k relative to the buy right I've never had this game like really go to the moon before it would be nice to have a session like that this setup's not bad we have four munches and even with this setup we don't break even just perspective 
We're not far off of break even though at least. A little bit of copium there, <laughs> still a few thousand dollars off. Let's dive straight back in with another max fucking bet. Oh, storm forged. Oh my god. It's too early, bro. Why are we playing storm forged? Here's the thing, right? If you like storm forged, you've made an emotional decision to not like money, right? I'm not going to continue that growth. I think it's. I think that sentence just kind of completed itself. I feel like you're you're in a place where either you have enough money that you're fine. You don't need to worry about money for the rest of your life, in which case go be a storm forged enjoyer. Or perhaps you tend to err on the side of masochism or if you're requesting it for other people, sadism, which is what you're doing here. So essentially what I'm saying is David, pretty base name, Still, you're a fucking sadist. You're a sadist. You and other people. Few of you want to see Stormforged. Talking about day 120 of Stormforged. Bro. That game is terrible, yo. I'm not even like trying to be funny with it. The game is genuinely terrible. The game does not pay. Stormforged is like... Guys, take your money and just do something else with it. Go buy a nice present. You know, if you if you're gonna gamble it, regardless, gamble it on another slot. Just take my advice. Just don't go to Stormforge. What the fuck was that? You know what that was? That was the sound of us leaving King Carrot. Mid performance by King Carrot. Not a bad game. Not gonna fucking knock it out. Okay. Oh, it's makes sense. Hacksaw. Okay. All right. They did not request any particular buy. Obviously, you know, we are going to, uh... Let's do one here, and then let's do one on the one next to it. At least we can have some coffee while we, uh... Lose 15 grand here. Lovely, love that, love that 3x forest. Actually, fucking save and a half on that head. That's profit. I mean, honestly, all things considered, surprising profit. <clears throat> that was like 15 dead spins, followed by like two juicers. Okay. This dude's looking like the fucking tat that I got. What the fuck? My man's in a permaha box. Really good hit. So with this one, the swords open up a fucking portal to the other realm that give you the wild, right? Once the sword is in the hit of the games, it won't connect if it's not actually being used. Carry trig. I mean, are there worse titles? Yeah, they're worse titles. Maybe I was a bit too harsh, perhaps, on the on the swing. I think I might even have been confusing the title for another another title with Forge in it. This title still I remember it ripping me a lot though. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take back what I said. You don't like money. Perhaps no, I wouldn't go as far as the masochistic. 
I would just say that you prefer to like drink Voss water. You know what I mean? You don't necessarily like it's not like it's doing you a difference. But you know, you're you're gonna pay for the packaging. Some dude out there holding a bottle of Voss like. Actually. Actually. It has shut up. It doesn't it doesn't have shit. Okay, so we got Loki here. They really missed on the audio in this game. It puts you to sleep. It's like... You guys, it's a game about fucking Vikings. Where's that fucking, like, the song that they play in the ocean all the time? Hoist the colors up. Like, that's the vibe, right? These, these are some savage fucking dudes, all right? These dudes are so savage. When I travel to fucking Norway, you know, two syntax for Martin, right? I just said thanks for the food if you're wondering what the fuck I said. Good people. They didn't even want to show me around. I was like, yo, big man, I'm here to see the Vikings, chief. They were like, we don't talk about that anymore. You know, that's how savage they were. They would prefer to just not think about that. They're like, us travel across the Atlantic on a piece of grass? And take over an entire like country no that wasn't us that was sweden wrong place you know what i mean like this is the game that you're trying to embody right you even got picked and you're gonna embody that with what with the sound of grass and air like easiest that is the easiest open goal this game has ever missed I think Norway was the first time that I saw like the fucking ocean freeze, bro. Like obviously near the coast line, where I just saw giant cubes of water of just like ice. I remember I'm from the Caribbean, right? So I was like, Yo, is there anyone I can talk to? I think you might have a problem here because it looks like your ocean has ice cubes in it. Is that okay? <laughs> then the next day we came back, shit was just washed over, bro. And after a little while, there were just like fucking people skating on it and shit. I was like, no wonder y'all just be like, fuck this big man. We got to travel. Let's go take over other. I'd be that way too. If I lived there, bro, like, and I'm all about the cold. I love the cold, but like there's cold. And then there's the Arctic circle. You know what I mean? Perhaps that was a bit too far north. I love the country. I love Norway. Fucking beautiful place. Just like a fucking... It looked like a fucking snow paradise, bro. It's hard to describe. Just untouched. It should be profit. Sweden's beautiful as well. I mean, this this buy is kind of going, to be honest. Or this, this game mode, I should say. It's kind of going for us. Interesting. That's good profit, man. I mean, the thing is, we're still down in total, but um, yeah, no, just take it and run. Holy shit. I can't believe I just profit a little bit there. I was sick. Finally, a real fucking game. Finally, a real fucking game. Oh my goodness. looking for eight so we can get the policeman never had it if you get the policeman you can start with x8 on all of your schmaltes that would be the dream oh. 
beefy. The only X5 I don't mind is beefy. I've seen Max wins with that all the time. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Third team we can work with. Let's put some quick cuts in this. We're going to stop spinning this bad boy until it gives us cuts. Believe in the dream. Go. Beefy is a very violent game. You can't be coming around here with the soft energy, big man. You got to hit it. You got to hit it hard. Go. Bah. Cut. Mm. Mm, this means we're dead. Let's see. Starting slow, though. No cuts yet. Double stack a wild, double cut. I want to see two wilds give each other a piggyback and then get a fucking ching. That's the sound effect that it makes when it cuts the wild. We have not heard that. It hasn't even missed yet. It hasn't baited yet. This is looking real fucking slow, guys. Third. That's our symbol all the way, but still shit. Shit shways. Shit hits. Shit life. Shit multi. Just shit. Yikes. By the way, I apologize if I didn't mention the name was David Carroll. 116010. I know Tomato already put that up. Tomato's a miss. For the last game on Stormforge. I apologize. I saw Stormforge Dave and my brain just like got foggy. You know what I mean? But maybe your name carried it. Perhaps. No bias there. Fabian is up to bat. Fabian Isaac 377 on San Quentin. Here's the thing, bro. Good fucking pick. Right? Just a good pick, right? Like, are you safe? Absolutely. I mean, you, you could not be safer. You're protected by a fucking force field when you selected San Quentin. You're just good. Whether or not this game performs is going to be up to no limit. And we all know we're a part of the no limit army. I mean, I appreciate you missing. Thanks for showing up. But like, you know what I mean? You're eight spins late. Perhaps if you start baiting earlier, I would have felt a little bit more hope. Because right now we just, we don't got funds. We don't got cuts. We don't got spins. We got, we got, you know what I mean? Just cast all this fucking buy. What do you need to do? And it missed our symbol. All right, you have to give me a double cut now for me to wake up. And you're not, you're missing everything. The local Luis is fucking coming in in the shways, but we have nothing going on, big man. was I think it was 30 something minutes where I had to cut off when the camera was fucking around. Eight spins. Pop. Oh. Beefy, you say? Don't mind if I do. That's looking like a top symbol for us. Nice. Loki. That is the funniest save yet. Two and three? Because it was a sea of dead up to that point. Double cut. Quick. Pop. Big map. That start with that. Ching, and just fucking double cut those wilds right there, bro. We would have been bricked up for the rest of the buy. Instead, we're sitting here just. The only great with this game is the setup base. So it's not like I love games that can just go in one shot. Love games like that. The thing with this game is when it gets cooking, man, I don't know. There's something about it that just gets you going. It's such a well done game. Graphics are so good. Dudes, your fist pumping. It's a, okay. It's in prison, you know, San Quentin be a fucking serious, like, I'm pretty sure it's fucking Max. Okay. That was a really good spin. That was a double cut there on some fucking schmalties. Now we're cooking with gas. So we got an X4 and an X2. It could, fu good lineup. Cut, cut one more time. X8 would be sick. We're getting there. Come on. Oh, okay.
Okay, guys, the potential starting to get there. We're starting together. We're far from where we need to be, but we can. This is looking better. Looking better. Showing up. Sorry if I stopped in this. I have a problem. I, I really, really enjoy this game. And I'd like to get through as many bites on this game as possible. Big man, double cut again. That'd be nice. Two X4s would be nice. Oh, don't do that. My chest, big man. What are you doing? That's beefy all the way. But put him in the shways. Bro, that barely has any beefies. And it's... Look, look at that. Look at that hit. Look at that hit. Barely any beefies. Just a couple of beefies. And a schwild not even in the game. This isn't even this isn't even a real schwild to me. Cut it. Oh, nice. Okay. Two X4s now. Much gas. Mucha gasolina. Let's go. Oh mate. You know what hurts? We only have this for a couple spins. So this this might not even profit, Loki. They might troll us. I think they, I think it will though. I'd like, I'd like to think that I will. Anytime you hear that, it's going to be a decent hit. What is this? This is my man here. This local Luis. There's a couple. Again, not a crazy screen. But with the schmalties, it's going to pay decent. X4, X2, X2. You don't, you don't see a setup this often. Bring it good. That's a really good setup. Come on. Oh, beefy at the end. Beefy at the end. Beefy at the end. Fuck. Big man, there's no shot. That's no premium symbol all the way. But X4, X2, X8 is going to be profit again. Good shit, bro. Good shit. Profit. Thing is, I think we hit peak. X8 feels like peak. Feels like fucking peak. Yeah, I don't want to ruin Beefy. That was peak. I think we hit peak there. Okay, we're going to move on to the last one here. Guys, and you know that I love San Quentin. So if I say, like, pull the brakes, I think that was pull the brakes. San Quentin ain't one of those that's hot type shits. <laughs> nah, big man. San Quentin just be giving you a juicer. Maybe I should have just ended the fucking... I should have just ended the session before fucking... Jeremy Seelin 3945 came and just kind of fucked it up. You know what I mean? Let's find out. To be announced. Went up to 180,000 X your bet on Pragmatic. Okay. Sure. If that makes you happy, Jeremy. You can do better than this slot, bro. Judging by the choice in slot. The name's Jeremy. Let's try and isolate the situation. Perhaps he's a member of the Spin Society. Perhaps his government decreed it. Maybe you're from the UK, bro. Let's put you in a... Put you in... You know, let's put you in Liverpool. Let's put you in Chelsea. Let's put you... Guys, leave a comment. What's a shitty place in the UK? Give me... I mean, Ali G... What did he used to say? Fuck me, bro. He always used to name a place specifically. Where he was from. And I think he did that to meme the place and shit on it. And I don't remember the name of the place. I need I need the ammunition, guys. Leave a comment. Leave a fucking like too while you're doing it. And sub. We're nearly a fucking 40k. Get the job done. I'm not sure when this video comes out. Maybe this video comes out and we flew by 40k. I don't know, bro. Here's the thing. I need a shitty name for the UK. Let's, let's, let's not get distracted. I need a, a shitty neighborhood. You know what I mean? I need it to be just a down bad neighborhood. So that when games like this pop up, I could be like, Jeremy, are you upset that you're from... You know what I mean?
<clears throat> I went to the UK a few times actually. Had some Guinness in Ireland, went to England, went to London, went to a few, went to Stonehenge. Went to a few places in the UK, I don't remember all the places. But what I do remember is I was with my partner at the time and she was like, where, what? We were at just a fish and chip shop after a party. And she was from the UK. So she, I think she had a sense for, well, she's from Norway. I think she had a sense for like, thumbs up. Cause she lived in the UK for a long time, right? We pulled, we peeled back a little bit. <clears throat> And some dude just offloaded another dude and they just started fighting. And uh, it was pretty violent. I'm going to keep it real. And to be honest, I, I was a little bit intoxicated. So what I said was, are you guys going to order food? Like, babe, if you wait, like, if you wait in the car, I'll get the fish and chips. They obviously got some beef to settle. I just want fish and chips, right? But you guys, ah, I'm not trying to break it up. Do you, you figure your shit out, right? Can I have two large? Yeah, yeah. Can I have some extra ketchup, please? Yeah, to go, obviously. To go. To go. Right. Got our fish and chips and got the fuck out of there. I'm not trying to get stabbed with no fish, big man. Right? And I know how the streets work, bro. The streets kind of work like fucking pecking luck here with Jeremy, my man. Just shiced in the balance, bro. Right? Just slight a hand at our shit. We came in here with money. Jeremy's like, hey, do you have money? Let me slight a hand at shit. And then just yoinked it. Right? So now what's going to happen is, thanks to Jeremy. Good job, Jeremy. I'm going to have to go over to fucking nine to five. Right? Let's just blame Jeremy, unless the Max wins, in which case we'll take the credit. By no limit and then we're just going to call the episode right there. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining me on fucking Trash Talk Tuesdays. Uh, I had fun. It was a good fucking episode. Good shit. Unfortunately, the camera stopped working halfway through. Doesn't matter. Tomato spliced it. Doesn't feel like it's been three weeks for you, right? Maybe for me it does, which is kind of why like, I came in feeling better about fucking stack them. Actually paid. I'll see you in the next one. Stack them actually paid.